brought a 40. I don't know. Should we just say something? No. Yeah. Tell a funny story. Yeah. A good memory. Memories I have are like, what's the way? Like, what's the way? I got stories about it. Say something funny about it. All right. Alan and I, when we were young, we sure had it. So good looking, you know, he was our good looking cousin and 
and Kenny was the only long-haired guy that my dad liked. <laughs> Long hair, beard, and riding a Harley. Yep, Dad, good, Dad uh, said you were the only one he liked, and that was because you were so good with him. Huh? And Alan was always quiet, and I remember going to the uh, circus with him and uh, you. I keep rolling my eyes every time I say you. And um, being terrified of the motorcycle right above our seats on a tight wire. And I can't remember if I held on to you or if I held on to Alan, <laughs> but it was the scariest thing. I'll never forget that. Otherwise, he was just chill with us and really nice. He never played tricks on us. Oh, because you guys were crazy. Well, yeah, he was probably scared. No. Yeah. <laughs> he did this thing with that rambler when he first got his license. There's a lion dog there, if I remember. comes along and it goes way down and it goes over like a went over a bridge and then it goes back up. And he would come into that viaduct head down there and turn the key off and it would just be drifting down. And I forgot if it was in gear or what, but then he would turn the key back on. I don't even know a little back there. It just sounded like there was a gunfight going on. Surprise, he never blew Because <laughs> he did it all. Every time we go through there, it seems like he was good. riding with Alan. <laughs> <laughs> and he hit a ball off and started pitching. He said, all the way from St. Louis, 600 and something miles. I got to hear this parakeet pitching at me. Is Every that why bump you, I hit. Is that why you Helen got to where she hated it. I know. <laughs> it was mom's idea. I'd be there studying. That's when I was still in school. Uh -huh. yeah. I'd get it, I'd hear that damn thing, you know, just singing away, and my mother just scream, come and get this bird, stick it in the closet. I don't know if you know the story behind that, but my mom, or Helen's sister, and uh, when, it was about the time my mom had uh, colon cancer, and we used to go over uh, to Aunt Helen's on David Lane all the time, like, like Kenny was like my caretaker. <laughs> And, um, <laughs> the horror. <laughs> they grow, they do. Yeah. They survive. Yeah, and, uh, but, um, we gave Aunt Helen that theory to keep her company. <laughs> and she never once complained about it from me. But I did catch Alan one time when we walked in taking the cover off of it, like, <laughs> In the of the taking day. it out of a closet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it had its spot in the closet. You know, it would go to sleep. I wonder why he was so willing to buy us birds. I don't know. <laughs> we went through a lot of parakeets in that damn parrot. You went through a lot of parakeets. Well, because mine always died. We always had they parakeets. They can't like to eat them. Yeah, the parakeets were kind of quiet. Yeah, but they the canaries. The canaries. <laughs> and then they attack parrots. It might have been my idea. I don't Wow. Allegedly, 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 allegly, allegedly, 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 allegedly,
I think I was right with John Wayne. Are we 
are we open to, to really inappropriate stories? Those oh, are the best okay. kind. Okay. I mean, <laughs> so, is that okay with you? <laughs> ready? Yes. This is Dad would appreciate. One. Yes. Okay. So, many, many years ago. Two. Yes. It was fantastic. Many, many years ago, Dad had to have a delicate procedure. A sphincterotomy. What does that mean? Polyps in intestinal. Oh, okay. What a surgery. Okay. Yes. Yes. Well, oh yeah, the hubcaps. <laughs> no, I thought it was in the air conditioning. 
Well, what I remember is after the reception, there was a huge storm. The ribs climbed up, falling on the floor. Alan and Vicky came out. I mean, I, he took this right, I mean, just as I hard as he that. could. And didn't Vicky get upset? I think, I think <laughs> Alan got kind of upset. Um, he didn't look real happy at all. Yeah, I can see this from that. And then he, I, he said he was going to deliver the cheese in the air conditioning. It was either in the air filter for it or it was in the hubcap. <laughs> I've heard that story. That yeah, would have been the Torino coat. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. They wouldn't want to mess with that. No. Yeah, Chris is going to do what That's how you make him angry. He climbed a taco bell. I can't quite remember that. I mean, I might have yeah, stopped they to see. them from doing it cheese because I think I ended up going out and locking the Torino Smart. up. Chris was probably not. <laughs> I kind of remember that. Yeah. His keys to I always picture it, my image in my head is it's in front of Colonial. And I know we never had. That yeah, that was Mary Helen and me. But, well, I got married and had a reception. My second marriage. No, we're going to dump it. And we're not dumping all of it. Okay, just checking. Anyone else? We can't top off the balls from here. I can, but I'm not going to. I mean, the best thing I got up for that is my puke in the hair after you Too many. Too many hospital visits where he's got to check to see if it's still there and then ask me if it's still there. Then ask the nurse if it's still there. Or after his kidney surgery, and he goes, it's bigger. <laughs> well, you know, you can just see it better. It's bigger. Look at it. The doctor was right. <laughs> they tell you, you lose weight. You lose five pounds, you gain an inch. I was like, how much painkillers is he on? And they went, a lot. And I went, okay, good.